Hey everyone, this is Sean and in today's video I'm super excited to talk about my favorite tips and tricks for the Microsoft Surface 3 tablet. So fasten your seatbelt and let's begin. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the use of gestures on the Surface 3. So I have my Surface 3 set up right now so that if I go out like this, I go to the desktop. And if I put my hand in, I go to the start screen. So if I swipe with four fingers to the left, I get a notification for how much battery is left. Okay, another thing that I can do if I want to switch between multiple tasks is I can swipe down with four fingers and you can see all of a sudden I have my uh, task manager. Three fingers, I can use that to kind of move around. I can snap uh, windows to the side, to the left, to the right. Maybe I turn down the brightness and I can also turn the brightness all the way up down up so that's a really convenient way okay so so again really easy just kind of controlling uh, your surface with gestures okay so to get gestures to work on your surface 3 you're gonna want to download an app from the Windows Store called touch me gesture studio so there's also another app that you can download to your surface 3 that allows you to actually zoom into your screen Okay, so this is really useful, especially if buttons are really small and if you, if you have trouble trying to find it, you can, just, uh, you can just zoom in and it makes it a lot easier to use. Okay, so in addition to the two pinch zoom, you can also use three pinch if you want to zoom in on a specific area and kind of use it almost as a, a magnifying glass. So it's really helpful. Because of the Surface 3's aspect ratio, you'll see these black bars on the top and bottom when watching HD video. But to get rid of them, if you like a more immersive experience, you just zoom in on the video and bam, you, the, those black bars are gone and now you can utilize the entire screen for watching video and that's exactly what I love. Okay, so one of the things I love about the Surface 3 is the fact that it has a micro USB port for charging because what that means is I can use a battery pack and plug it in and if I'm running low on battery and I'm away from an outlet, bam. So what you can also do is when you're, when you're done using the Surface, when you're putting it back in your backpack or your bag, just slip it in with the charger and guess what? Your Surface will be charging while it's in your bag. Another thing I love about this micro USB port is that it actually doubles as another USB port that you can use for data. So all you need is a little uh, U micro USB to big USB adapter. Plug that in and now you can plug in anything you want to. So let's go ahead and plug in another uh, thumb drive in here. Bam! This is more USB ports than even the Surface Pro 3. Okay, so in my past Surface Tips and Tricks videos, I've shown how you can basically plug in a USB hub and plug in a boatload of stuff and do some really cool things, uh, including Ethernet and whatnot. But today, I'm gonna actually take it a step further. I'm not gonna use a USB hub. Instead, what I have over here, this is a USB docking station. And basically what you have, you can have microphone out, you can have speaker out to, for it to go into your, your speakers. You can have monitor outs. You can see I have some monitor outs. Uh, you've got uh, four USB ports on the back. You've got ethernet. You've got some USB 3.0 ports in the front. This one's a powered port so you can even charge your surface uh, through this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in to the USB port. Screen number one, and whoa, look at that. Okay, so now we're in business. I don't know if you saw in the back, but I plugged in a little bit, a little dongle so that I can have my wireless mouse as well as my wireless keyboard. There's my, my Surface 3 over there. Okay, so th this makes it really cool. You know, you can just, you can have multiple workspaces and things are, are fairly responsive. So keep in mind, I actually have a display port open so I can actually plug in another monitor if okay so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my Xbox adapter look at that that's amazing okay so I am playing a portal using my Xbox controller wirelessly now all of this is powered by my surface 3 okay 
this right here, this guy, and this is not a, a Surface Pro 3, okay? This is actually just the Surface 3. So I can also plug in a DVD drive either on the front or in the back. And this really turns basically the Surface 3 into a desktop when you plug this in, complete with a DVD reader and writer. And when you're ready to disconnect, it doesn't matter what, everything is plugged in. It's just one USB, so boom. You just unplug it, it was all powered by this right here. All powered by this, and now you can take this on the go, and you will never even know this was capable of all that, because it looks so tiny. Amazing. Okay, so this next thing I want to show you is something that I've uh, done in the past, but it's still really cool, so really quick, I want to talk about using your voice to navigate around the surface without using your hands, okay? And for that, you'll want to use a built-in feature called Windows Speech Recognition, which you see I have up here. All right, so let, let's try this out. Start. Open mail. Close mail. Go to the desktop. Open word. Close word. And that is really cool. It allows you to just do anything you want on the surface really quickly without needing to use your hands. Okay, so another thing I want to show is how you can cast audio files or songs videos from your surface 3 to your xbox 360 or xbox one so what i do for my surface 3 is i swipe from the side tap on devices tap on play and you should see xbox one show up in your list so just tap on the xbox one and then you'll see there it'll start to play on the tv bam there you go now in addition to that the surface is still functional, okay? So I can still go in and I can still uh, open up uh, documents or I can surf the web. Okay, so another cool thing that you can do is completely wirelessly mirror your screen to your TV. So in order to do that, you'll need a wireless display adapter. I have plenty of videos explaining how to do that. Not only mirror, but you can also extend your display. If you share your device with multiple people, for example, if you have kids or if you have a spouse, you can actually have multiple, multiple accounts on here. So on my device, I actually have a kid account. So these are all my kids' favorite apps. They, they love playing games on here. Okay, so I also have a whole bunch of student tips and tricks. Uh, I have a video out that you can watch that I think would be very, really helpful. Okay, so that was it. That was my Surface 3 tips and tricks video. Uh, this is absolutely an amazing device. Really, really solidly built. Uh, beautiful device and the things that it can do will just blow your mind away. It definitely blew my mind away. Do check out all my other videos where I have a ton more tips and tricks to share. And if you found this video helpful, uh, please share it. Uh, please like it and do subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.